What's going on there folks? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here with an update video on this Monday night, July 11th, 2022 date. About 8.15 California time here along the West Coast, 8.15 p.m. Quite the active day across areas of the Pacific, right around this major fracture zone here. See all this activity popping up here on the globe? I've seen quite a few earthquakes. Let's go ahead and get down to some details of the activity. It looks like another one coming into the uh, Japan region currently. There's the uh, latest map here from the USGS. We'll go ahead and zoom in on the activity that we've seen really ramping up around the Samoa region, the Vanuatu area, and along the Kermadec Trench today. A couple of these earthquakes got downgraded significantly. We did have originally uh, at least three 6.0 earthquakes in various areas here across the Pacific. And uh, as you can see, the USGS definitely been dropping these things down like crazy. Uh, so, so far, they've kept one 6.0, and that's going to be this one here near the uh, Vanuatu area of Port Villa uh, at about 10 kilometers. But we are starting to see a swarm of activity here around the Samoa region, relatively shallow earthquake activity. And that's very common for this little region. Uh, the deeper earthquake activity tends to occur within this horseshoe boundary within this area along the Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench area. But uh, for this region here, definitely got some, uh, I would definitely call this a moderate uh, earthquake activity getting up there in the upper five range. Uh, and, and again, originally this was a, a six pointer, at least one of those were. Uh, not for sure what the EMSC is still stating. Let me check, let me make sure these guys are uh, latest data here looks like stand by for just a second one six point these guys have the 6.1 near Port Villa and looks like uh, they've downgraded to a 5.7 or so uh, 5.8 near the uh, Samoa area there is a most recent quake on the Java Trench and some activity up into Alaska as well 4.7 now let's see what we got going on here there's a lot of stuff just taking place all of a sudden uh, throughout the afternoon here folks a lot of movement uh, kicking up here and, and when we see this type of activity uh, it could be leading to something much much bigger not only specifically in this region here uh, but anywhere around the Pacific plate when this type of activity kind of shuffles up like this uh, it's a, it's definitely an eye-opener so USGS reporting a 4.3 south of Anchorage here at 30 kilometers um let's see if anybody felt this earthquake out here it's a somewhat of a distance from the anchorage area but a 4.3 might uh, be felt up there looks like a few reports being felt around the big city of anchorage just some very light shaking uh it's been a while since they've had any significant earthquake activity up here around the anchorage region uh it's a major player though and producing some large quakes this whole area is so Let's see what we got. Uh, Java Trench is showing some further activity uh, with a 4.9 there in the Indonesia area. Java Trench, 35 kilometers. Uh, just a whole lot of movement down here in the south part and around the Pacific Plate. As uh, far as the Japan Trench goes, we haven't really seen too much activity, uh, which is a little surprising. Uh, considering all this large-scale movement that's been taking place here in this little bend area of the Pacific Plate and the Australian Plate here. This area that just sees a tremendous amount of earthquake activity um let's see here west coast is having a little bit of activity it looks like uh, some of this movement here is from uh i believe late last night they're off the uh, coast of oregon we'll pull up the all magnitude see if any of this movement has uh messed with any areas hawaii is pretty quiet right now not seeing a whole lot of adjustment currently only 21 earthquakes um, throughout the uh, region, most of them in the Pahala area. Well, a couple earthquakes offshore near the uh, submarine volcano out there, Lohi Seamount. But uh, it doesn't look like all this movement has done too much there to Hawaii. Uh, it definitely has stirred things up here in Alaska, though, with the most recent activity uh, into the northern portion of the Pacific Plate. West Coast activity, we got uh, 1.2 in the Doyle area of California, it looks like, right on the border. Uh, that one pretty deep at nine kilometers there into the uh, uh, into the border line into the state line there. It's a movement uh, once again. It looks like throughout the eastern crest of Sierra Nevada, this activity out here around Eureka, Nevada. Um, still watching it pretty closely. It's been kicking up 
off and on overnight and this morning, uh, although no, nothing really shown up here within the last hour. Long Valley Super Volcano, a couple spotty earthquakes here around Mammoth Lakes region. Not a whole lot going on around this warm area though that we were looking at uh, a week or so ago. Ridgecrest area, a couple spotty earth, earthquakes there. And um, Southern Cal, not lighting up too much. No red circles there in the uh, area, indicating most recent quake activity. So majority of this from uh, earlier this morning and afternoon time frame. Just some microquakes out there in Southern California. Uh, up through Oregon and Washington, about the same. A little spotty activity throughout the Yellowstone area of Wyoming. Eastern part of the country here has been quiet, though, over the past few days. We haven't seen too much earthquake movement uh, within this area. we got one earthquake up here in the Michigan area. It looks like uh, Luna Pier, Michigan, a 2.4 at uh, 5 kilometers. Pretty shallow earthquake. Looks like uh, a couple... Folks reported seeing or uh, filling this around the uh, Toledo area, looks like, up to Monroe as well. A little light shaking occurring up there in the earthquake country of Michigan. Well, I know Ohio up here gets a couple earthquakes as well. Uh, I believe it's been a couple months since we've seen any activity here. I know this was just kind of, I believe, north of the uh, Cleveland area that we've seen that movement a couple months back. Puerto Rico Trench uh, lighten up a little bit in our swarming area once again with the 3.5, the latest here within the last hour at 40 kilometers. South America has been the awfully quiet child just kind of sitting back, observing what's going on around the Pacific Plate. Got to remember we got uh, a lot of interaction here between the Nazca, the Cocos Plate, the Caribbean Plate here, all this area definitely backed up against the Pacific Plate uh, over here, the East Pacific Rise. So any adjustment that does pl take place further west uh, does have an effect in this area. But I think in this case, um, it tends to relieve, similar to the West Coast up here, it does tend to relieve pressure along the South America region. Not all the time, but I've always seen things kind of go quiet around the South America region uh, when this area tends to kick up. And up here, about the same as well. When we get movement around the Japan area, some swarming around the Mariana Trench, things kind of back off along the West Coast and uh, just kind of go quiet a little bit. Uh, but right now, West Coast kind of lighten up a little bit up into the northern part of the Pacific Plate here. Actually, on the North American side, that's going to be um, where that Alaska earthquake activity is ramping up. Uh, some spotty movement throughout the Middle East, it looks like. Uh, we got one earthquake here off the coast of Iran in that little area where we've still been seeing some swarming going on. Uh, one earthquake in the, what do we got here? A couple earthquakes. We got two earthquakes here. Looks like near the Armenia area, right on the border of Georgia and Armenia. A couple small fours kicking off there and also an earthquake here in Greece with a 4.0. Uh, down here uh, in the African continent, Zambia, um, got a 4.6 it looks like. Atlantic Ocean, still pretty quiet, folks. Very, very quiet. Uh, let's see here. Let me double check the EMSC model, see if we skipped anything. Uh, there's that earthquake being reported there in Alaska. It was a felt earthquake, of course. They dropped it down to the 4.8 or a 4.5 level as well. Um, these guys are about pretty much showing the same thing as the USGS, uh, except for this earthquake down here, a little 4.7 in the... Um, the Auckland Islands area, New Zealand region. I don't believe the USGS is showing that, so nothing really shown up here. Uh, I still think we need to watch this area, though. Uh, haven't seen too much large-scale movement here in this region. Uh, any any type of this type of swarming activity, folks, is an eye-opener uh, regionally. So uh, just a heads up. Be prepared. Yellowstone National Park. Um, definitely showing up on the graphs here. All the sixes and fives kicking up it looks like they fixed that error uh that was taking place there was a, every two minutes or every minute or so there's a a block a block out of data uh and then you could see it even when there was no data coming in uh that would still be a little uh a space in between there they have fixed that looks like things are back to go now or back to normal these earthquakes right here are distant earthquakes that's how many earthquakes took place today folks if you rack them all up, if we were to do the timestamps on all this, they would match up with all the earthquake activity that we've been seeing around the um, 
around the globe today. Quite a few fives and those sixes out there. I, I, you know, they, they downgraded them, but uh, there's quite a few large earthquakes out here today. We've got, uh, not counting the 4.4, I would make about seven uh, pretty good sized earthquakes, at least within this region. And again, these guys do show up. Uh, some of these earthquakes do pop up as distant earthquakes in the Yellowstone area. Uh, no major movement that I can see here at Yellowstone. No, no microquake activity, no major swarm uh, occurring at all around the Yellowstone area. The trimmer, uh, trimmer map tonight along the Cascadia shows a pretty good uptick. It looks like 155 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia subduction zone, mostly down here in the southern end of the Cascadia under Oregon and the northern California area, the very extreme southern end of the Cascadia. Uh, space weather activity today, well, well tonight I should say. Uh, see if it's picking up. Looks like it's still staying pretty consistent here, folks. They have dropped, eh, can't remember if this was 20% or 10% earlier. Um, I think it was 20%, so it looks like it's dropped a little bit, but there's still certainty of getting a pretty good flare popping off here um, from one of the sunspots. Uh, currently, the X-ray flux data is showing consistent sea flare activity. Uh, kind of pretty much the popcorn cooking on the stove, sizzling, so to speak. Uh, you know, if you can visualize that, uh, we're looking like we could be amping up here a little bit with some solar flare activity very soon. Uh, there is some uh, activity kicking up in the KP index here throughout the morning and the uh, afternoon time frame. Let's see what we got here. Um, when was this put out? Looks like earlier this morning. Uh, looking at the data here, 3053 now is directly facing us. Same with 3055. So anything that these things pop off... Uh, should they have a subsequent CME, will definitely be earth directed. There's a newly named sunspot, beautiful, massive sunspot there, 3057, the latest numbered on the disk of the sun. 3056, looking a little disorganized down here, but still pretty massive. Uh, so a couple of these sunspots we've got to watch, 3055, 3053. I think 3057 played the biggest part in uh, any probabilities of the flares. Uh, 3053, 3055, 3057 looks like about the top ones there that could produce anything as uh, far as any significant flaring goes. So, alrighty, just uh, getting active. Is the uh, plate tectonics getting active because of the sun? Who knows? But it seems to does seem to kind of go hand in hand with activity lately. But uh, all right, folks, we're gonna keep an eye on it um, again. A lot of movement taking place down there. Don't let this little extended quiet period here uh, fool you. Got to watch this area and also Pacific areas around the Ring of Fire definitely could be uh, getting ready to pop. 4.3. Just wanted to see if they had upgraded it or downgraded it. So 30 kilometers, not a super deep or shallow earthquake. Uh, let's see, anything going on up in the Canada region? looks uh there it is looks like a little activity uh, let's bring up the plate boundary here real quick and a little back building it looks like here west of the cascadia uh, northern end of the cascadia subduction zone a 3.0 at 10 kilometers well off the court, uh, coast of port hardy bc area aside from that a little bit of movement up here on the pacific side of the plate boundary north american pacific side here and a little bit further up north as well so watch the pacific plate folks alrighty guys have a good night stay safe out there and um not for sure what was going on with the globe it looks like it stopped earlier um because i come in here in the computer room to do an update and um the, the globes just stopped like that so i don't know how long it's been like that or if it automatically did it itself i've had some weird things happen here with the globe Oh, over the past year or so, I'm not for sure, you know, if it's got some type of a glitch in here or, or what's going on with it, but uh, it looks like it's working now. All right, guys, stay safe, be prepared, and we will chat you guys real soon. I have a feeling. Take care, folks.